So she is an Emmy winning Tony nominated actress who struck television gold as one of your favorite TV hosts. Mm -hmm. Come on, not mm -hmm. once, but twice. She's also a woman of great faith who is bringing her vision to the big screen. Please welcome to DBL, the iconic Kathy Lee Gifford. Yeah. Everybody, thank you so much. Oh, it, it is our honor. It is our pleasure. I wanted to do this before we get to your new powerful book and movie. I have to wish you a happy belated birthday, Mazel. You're a Leo, but you fairly. Uh oh, she doesn't like she birthdays. doesn't like birthdays, <laughs> and I want to know why. Why I don't like birthdays? Yeah, yeah. Every day's a birthday. Every day's a day you're you're still alive from the day of your birth. That's a good answer. And so, yeah. And, and, and I think when we single things out, our expectations get so large that they're, you're always disappointed. And, I, I know I, I, and, and unfortunately, because of ageism in our world, a person's age tends to, um, to uh, stigmatize them. Yeah, yeah. And, and I'm, I'm, I just turned uh, chrono chronologically 69 years old, but I feel like I'm 35. Amen. And so I don't want to be reminded of something that, is, that has not, doesn't mean anything to me. I love that. I'm as, as, as old as I look, feel, and, and experience life. So I don't like anything that, that makes me, that takes my eyes off what is true. Very no, good. Yeah. What I'm do you think as a follow-up, so what's the biggest misconception about aging? It's that, that we let other people define what it means. Mm. Now, I've met some 30-year-olds that are older than I am, yeah. you know, in the way they act, and the way they view the world and everything else, and their attitudes and their, their negativity. Uh-uh. I'm the most, I, no, I, it, it, it's just, it's one more thing that we let the world define about us. And I, re, I reject all of it. I appreciate it. Because when, when you have God in your life, definitions, only his definition matters. You were just talking to one of those people. I'm kidding, I'm kidding, <laughs> I'm kidding. So, Kathy Lee, congratulations are also in order because you came a, became a grandmother this oh, summer. Yeah. Now we're talking. Or, yeah, that's right, or you like to be called Bubby. Not Bubby, Bubby, Bubby. Bubby. Ooh, I almost said no, something else. No, it's not Bubby. Uh, I don't, you obviously are not Jewish people. Yeah, this yeah, comes from a, a Yiddish word. <laughs> you, can, can you all say amongst yourselves, bubula? Could you bubula. get a two shot bubula. over here? I need help. Bubula. Bubula? No. Bu bu not boob. Bu These bu are boobs, okay? <laughs> Different. Different. I'm not the one nursing right now. I'm the grandmother. Thank God. <laughs> all right. I'm going to get no, off that. What, I, what are your duties as grandmother right now? Spoiling the, spoiling? No, I don't believe in spoiling children. I believe in just loving them to pieces. But I no, my children turned out the way they did because I did not spoil them, mm. and they grew up in very uh, a very more privileged society than I was born into or my husband was. We were, I was uh, was poor, and and Co and Frank was uh, um, poverty stricken. Wow. wow. And and we we just worked our, our rear ends off our whole lives, and we uh, tried to uh, live our lives according to God's uh, plan for us. And his and his, you know, they, people talk about God's commandments. They aren't commandments. They were they were blessings. The commandments were were were. were how do, do you want a joyful life? Do you want blessing in your life? Do you want God's favor to follow you? Follow this. Love your neighbor as you love yourself. Love God with all your heart. Treat your, don't lust after your neighbor's wife. Share. Do those are not commandments. That's like the greatest suggestions in the world to have a good life, mm. a blessed life. It's beautiful. Wow. That's Very inspiring. I know. I just love how authentic you are. Like from her faith to grabbing her bubbies. Yeah. <laughs> bubbies. Yeah. These are bubbies. I'm, <laughs> I'm bubby. Bubby is a Yiddish word for beloved one. I, I have so a, He's my yes. bubula. Yes. And I'm his bubby. Yes, you are. It's yes, so you are. hard to take people so <laughs> <laughs> okay, so Kathy Lee, okay, you worked with Regis for 15 years. I don't think I ever missed an episode. And then you jumped oh. over, started working with Hoda for 11 years. Tell yes. us, is there a secret to your chemistry on air? How do you, everything you touch turns to gold? Come on, give us some no, tips. you didn't see my Broadway show. <laughs> um, which I, of all the things I've done up until this new movie, I, I felt like it was the greatest work I've ever done. And it, it took me... Uh, 13 years to bring it to Broadway, and uh, it closed in three weeks. So you never know in this world. I just try to follow God's leading, and there are whatever His purposes are, and that's His business. And I'm just supposed to uh, humbly and 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 uh, walk in His footsteps and obey Him. So yeah, no, the thing that is that's the same with with Regis as it was with Hoda. First of all, I was blessed to work with two people that I 
And I could never have worked that long with either one if I hadn't adored them. Right. right. Just I think affection, genuine affection and respect between people is so important. First of all, that's what an audience really sees. And I could I could roast Regis and I could tease him and the same thing with Hoda. But at, but everybody would know they love each other. Mm -hmm. yeah. That's it. That was that when we and we do and we did. And there's not a day that goes by that I don't you know, miss Regis, who's who passed recently. And yeah. I and I adored him. But um, the one thing we always had and it was what's the secret to your success? I said it's a three letter word. Fun. Mm -hmm. That's we it. Have fun. We have fun, and fun is contagious, and fun is in short supply these days. Yes, it is. And um, there are other people I have fun with. I, I would do a show again in a heartbeat with Craig Ferguson. I would do it in a heartbeat again with Jimmy Allen or, or uh, Rick, Ricky Gervais wow. or different people that I have freaking fun with. <laughs> because other people, I, wanna, I wanna come to the party. Yeah. I wanna come to so the party. So do we, Kathy Lee, so do we. In fact, to our viewers, stay with the party because when we come back, we'll chat with Kathy Lee about her amazing new book and movie, The Way. She'll, she'll also tell us why she's finally found her dream job. We're back in two minutes with Kathy Lee. The Bible comes to life with music and narration in ways you've never experienced before. The Way. Wow, that was a clip from Kathy Lee's new movie, The Way, set to be released in theaters for a one night only event on September 1st. Please welcome back to the show, Kathy Lee Gifford. Yeah. Yay! Thank you. Awesome. Thanks, guys. Yes, Thank so you. Kathy Lee, your on air career, obviously, second to none, monumental, but you say this project is your dream job. Why is that? You know what? After I left the show with Regis, people say, How could you leave your dream job? Then I left the show with Hoda. And they go, how could you leave your dream job? And I said, you know what? You guys are assuming that this was my dream job. No, I'm deeply grateful for the jobs I had with both of those people. We, Regis and I were able to change the landscape of daytime TV forever. We never set out to do that. We never dreamed we could. We just showed up and we were authentically who we yes. are. Yeah. You guys have probably discovered that that's what works best for you too. Mm -hmm. You know, because, because the audience can smell a route. They can smell a phony. And um, and there have been a few people who've been able to fake it for much, much longer than others, but I won't name their names <laughs> unless we get together. Next name month. on it. Name, but, name. <laughs> no. name. For the most part, if you want to last, <laughs> if you want to last decades and decades, you just be the real you. And then people will either dislike you, but it'll be on a real basis or they'll love you to pieces and they'll never leave you. Mm. And I've been blessed to have enough of those that um, they have forgiven my 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 sins through the years and my 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 uh the times that i was ignorant but didn't know it you know there's willful ignorance and then there is real ignorance and i just didn't know that something might be hurtful or something might be offensive to somebody and this is long before the culture we live in and and and, and when i the minute i would realize it that it might have offended somebody it was like oh my gosh i never knew that i come right back on the air and go hey guys i just said something five seconds ago during, before the and somebody in commercial break told me what it means to other people. I'm so sorry. I I didn't know. Wow. And and people would go, yeah. And there's what's wrong with that? Mm -hmm. Just saying, you know what? I don't know everything. I'm a human being and I'm at work in progress. But I mean, I called somebody a Guido once because I thought it was a funny word. I'd heard it somewhere and I thought it was a Italian. It's a Guido. It's a guy that wears the chain. I, and I somebody Italian friend of mine who I adored at my show said, Kathy. You can't say that. I, I, I said, why? He goes, it's derogatory to, to Italian people. I went, what? When? He goes, <laughs> <laughs> but that's why that's we love honest, you, Kathy Lee, because you are honest and yeah. you're just always ever evolving. And if we could all take a page from your book. Now, this is your second time directing a faith based film. I don't know if our viewers know that. Now, this is your first, though, full length film. Congrats. Where did the idea yes. exactly? Congratulations. But where did the idea oh, honey, for this you. film come thank from? You. Well, it, it came from the first film, actually. It was a, it was supposed to be a three minute uh, um basic song that I wrote with a brilliant artist named Nicole C. Mullen under what we call the inspiration of the Holy Spirit. I, she had to go to Nigeria for ministry. I stayed back in Connecticut uh, and finished the song. It went from a three minute uh, song about Hagar in the Old Testament to an 11 and a half minute um, 
I didn't know what it was except for my work in Broadway made me feel like this is a piece of theater. I don't quite know what this is, but let's get back and let's get in the studio and let's demo it. So we did. And I said to, to Nicole, tell me a little bit about each character as we go along, Nicole. You know the Bible very well. Tell me about Hagar. Tell me about Ruth. Tell me. She goes, oh, I can't do that. I can't do that. I said, oh, yes, you can do that. You just haven't done it before. Mm. And so she did it. And when you saw the first film, The God Who Sees, which has had millions and millions of views, and it changed people's lives, transformed them, she, she, she was just speaking her heart, speaking her truth. 95 or maybe even more percent of what you see in The God Who Sees is what she said in one take, wow. one take. And it, it was so glorious that I said, I'm putting this to music. And wow. I added the National Symphony Orchestra to it, oh my 65 gosh. pieces. Then I said, this is so glorious. We're going to Israel and I'm going to direct for the first time in my life because I'm tired of giving my babies to other people and go. not having my vision come true. Yeah. I've earned the right now. To, to direct everything I, first of all, that I pay for, hello. And I mean, unless someone comes along and wants to do the next one, right. I'm gonna keep doing this. And so from the reaction of that one, millions of people saying it changed my life. I did, I was gonna kill myself today. Wow. And I, I stumbled on this and I realized that God sees me. I'm not alone in this world. I am valuable to God. He loves me or, she, you know, it was a woman, whoever, you go on YouTube and you just see the the, the the comments people have made in three and a half years from watching it. It's still going on. And Kathy Lee, yeah, it's, life changing. Changing. it's life changing. You changing. are a gift. We hope you can join us on the panel. We really do. Yes, we, that would be I'm a dream. Uh, do not miss Kathy Lee's one night only theatrical release of The Way on September 1st. You can go to fathomevents.com for tickets. You can also get the companion book, The God of the Way, a journey into the stories, people and faith that change the world forever. It's out on August 30th. Thank you.